Hi there, welcome to my views and news. A deputy mayor has been arrested in the Amhara region. What is the allegation against this mayor? Secondly, dozens of Fano fighters have been allegedly killed by the Ethiopian military in an operation in the region. And lastly, Zamina Kasi wants to take over Addis Ababa. He wants to be the government. In Ethiopia. Vinakasi's recent interview is being criticized by Fano critics. What did he say? I just want to uh, have a look at one main point which he mentioned in his interview. Let's start with the first story about the mayor arrested in the Amhara region. Uh, the mayor was arrested in a Volo, South Volo. He is deputy mayor of the city. Shimalis Gitacho is his name. He was arrested uh, this week. No official statement by the government. Uh, was he arrested uh, on the suspicion of supporting Fano fighters or was he arrested uh, because he was suspected of being involved in corruption? Uh, what we have learned is that he was found involved in some financial irregularities. That is why he has been arrested. Uh, some sources reported last week that he was found in secret uh, communication with Fano groups. That is why he was arrested. But what uh, I have been able to confirm is that uh, he wasn't arrested because of links with Fano. Rather, his arrest is linked to some financial irregularities, misappropriation of public funds reportedly. Uh, at a crucial time when people are suffering, when uh, cost of living is rising, when access to basic commodities is becoming a challenge for people, these government officials must be held accountable. But generally, we see that the government officials on lower level are held accountable. I mean, since I started covering Ethiopia, I don't I did not see any main Ethiopian military officer, bureaucrat, or politician punished for corruption. Is there no corruption in Ethiopia? Or are just lower level party workers, government officials corrupt? Can we say that entire ruling elite members are honest? No. Problem is that the accountability mechanism has been established uh, in such a way that it is only activated on lower level and mid level government officials, party members, etc. Top always remains unheard. Even if some members of top uh, elite are arrested or detained, then uh, ultimately they manage uh, to get away with their crimes. And fight against corruption can only start from the top. There won't be any change if you just keep on imprisoning uh, the lower level of I am not saying that Dassey's uh, deputy mayor should not uh, have been arrested. Uh, what I am saying is that accountability must start from the top. Secondly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian military claims to have killed dozens of Fano fighters. Military issued a statement a few hours ago. The military is claiming that it conducted an operation against Fano fighters in East Gojum. In that operation, more than 40 Fano fighters were killed. Operation was conducted in Goncha Siso, NSA, Woreda. 
situated in the east gojam zone of the amhara region uh by the way whenever some foreign fighters are killed in a military operation pro ethiopian government activists attribute the killing of these foreign fighters to in fighting in fano so for me it's uh, so for me it's a difficult uh, for me it, it's difficult to understand why that uh, all the casualties being suffered by fano fighters in ethiopian military operations are being attributed to uh in fighting in fano yes there is in fighting in fano it does not mean that each and every fano fighter who is dying is dying because of uh, the in fighting in fano uh, so this incident which i have learned about is not about in fighting in fano rather military conducted an operation and in that operation uh, fano fighters died how many were killed generally military exaggerates pano also exaggerate their uh, uh, gains and military's losses last of your zameen akasi the fano commander from gujjum wants to be the government zameen akasi gave an interview a few hours ago not a few hours ago uh, more than 24 hours ago he responded to question of talks with the government and one important thing he said was about uh, addis ababa he said we want to be the government we want to reach arat kelo we want to reach addis ababa give us the government hand over the government to us we don't want to talk to this government he said that none of his uh, Uh, group members are in talks with the ethiopian government zimin kasi is being criticized uh, fano critics say that this is what fano wants fano groups want to just take over addis ababa they want to rule over ethiopia they they they, uh, they, they believe uh, they are under this false uh, belief that they are real uh ethiopians and they have every right to rule over ethiopia uh by the way this is not something new zamina kasi's claim to addis ababa is not new all fano groups say the same they say that addis ababa is their goal they want to reach addis ababa they want to remove pm abid government at the same time they say that they want to form an inclusive government they want to strike uh, alliances with other people they want a representative inclusive government in addis ababa but it does not mean they want to rule over ethiopia alone which is not possible by the way even if fano fighters reach addis ababa they won't be able to control entire ethiopia obviously for a working acceptable government fano groups will have to ensure uh, a government with participation of all the stakeholder they are reaching addis ababa is uh, just a discussion they are not close to it they are nowhere close to it they are just in amhara where they are uh, they could not reach even the regional capital of bahita let's see so far uh, they are just trying to consolidate their uh, position in the amhara region thank you for watching